Hey you guys, it's me Spongebob number one fan thousand three here. And as you can see I'm here with the super adorable Spongebob book. And this one is called Spongebob and the Princess. And I actually just got this book a couple of weeks ago. And this is honestly such an adorable book. I really, really love it. So as you can see on the front cover, there's super adorable little Spongebob right there. And he's really excited to see the princess. Along with everyone else, like those fish and Squidward and Mr. Krabs. And that guy right there actually looks like one of the princess's guards. <laughs> and this book is actually number five. Okay. And here's the spine. And here's the back. So there's a super cute little picture of SpongeBob riding a seahorse. And right here is a description about the story. And this book was actually made by David Lumen and illustrated by Clint Bond. And right here are some other Spongebob books that you can get, which I actually have all five of those, which I think is really super cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with looking at the pages that are in this book. Okay. So right here is a super adorable picture of Spongy Bobby dressed up as a princess, and I think he looks so adorable. And once again, this book was made by David Lumen and illustrated by Clint Bond. Okay. And really quickly, this book was actually made in 2004. Okay. So it's actually a very, very busy day at the Krusty Krab, and Mr. Krabs is actually going to go count the money that he made during the day. And SpongeBob is mopping the floor and stuff. It's actually the end of the day. Okay. And then a delivery truck actually comes, and he tells SpongeBob, like the, the driver of the truck, actually tell Spongebob something about a princess coming and yep Spongebob thinks that a princess is actually coming to the Krusty Krab tomorrow so he actually goes inside the Krusty Krab to tell everyone about the princess coming and obviously Mr. Krabs is in the office counting his money and he tells Squidward about the princess and Squidward is very super excited because he loves royalty And since Spongebob doesn't really know how to, like, act when being around a princess, Squidward actually decides to teach him how to act around a princess. And Spongebob is super duper excited and he's going to go to Squidward's house for lessons later that day. And, yep, Spongebob is very super excited and he really wants snacks too. Look at how cute he is. Okay. And... Mr. Krabs actually heard Spongebob's shouting about the, cr the princess coming and Mr. Krabs looks very excited as well since the princess has lots of money, obviously. Okay, so Spongebob is now at Squidward's house that night to, to get some lessons about how to act around a princess. And obviously you cannot giggle when you bow to Princess Neptuna and... Yeah, Spongebob's giggling because of Patrick dressed up as a princess there. He actually looks kind of cute as a princess right there, but yes, Squidward looks very annoyed with Spongebob. Since Spongebob is laughing at Patrick as the princess. And Mr. Krabs actually hangs up lots of posters and stuff about the princess coming to the Krusty Krab tomorrow. So look at that poor guy right there. Okay. So the next day, everyone is lined up at the Krusty Krab to see the um, the princess. And Spongebob and Squidward and Mr. Krabs are all dressed up in their tuxedos. And um, the princess obviously hasn't arrived yet. And Mr. Krabs is announcing to everyone that she'll be here quite soon. And then the delivery truck that came to the Krusty Krab the other day actually came back to deliver princess napkins. And, um, obviously it's just princess napkin, so there's actually, like, no princess coming, and Spongebob is very disappointed, because he promised everyone a princess. And, yeah, the, the napkins have, like, some crowns, and they're, like, pink. But, yeah, Spongebob promised everyone a princess, so he's actually going to get them a princess. So Spongebob desperately asks Patrick to dress up as a princess, but, but since... Spongebob laughed at him yesterday. Um, Patrick doesn't want to dress up as the princess. So, 
SpongeBob actually dresses up as the princess, and I think he looks so adorable in that green dress. I mean, just look at how adorable he is. <laughs> He's so adorable. And this guy actually yells at, at SpongeBob because obviously he can tell right away that that's not the princess. So actually, everyone goes to like run at SpongeBob and stuff. And then suddenly, the real princess actually comes because she loves crowds. And there's little SpongeBob over there. He's bowing in his beautiful little princess outfit to to Princess Neptuna, and she came because she loves crowds and stuff. And there's her big boat and her guards and her beautiful snail and everyone looks very very excited look at how cute schoolbird looks actually but spongebob looks so adorable with his little princess going on okay so the princess actually signs autographs for everyone and even schoolbird's little picture that he has there and princess neptuna actually eats a krabby patty and spongebob actually decides to give her some napkins and Princess, Princess Neptuna really, really likes the way Spongebob is treating her and she pinches his little cheek. I mean, look at how cute Spongebob is. Oh my gosh, look at those big eyes. Oh my gosh. And um, yeah, Spongebob's still wearing the little princess outfit. I just think he looks so stinking adorable. And yep, there's Princess Neptuna's snail right there. And yeah. So that's actually pretty much all for this super awesome book. Look at how cute he is. Oh my gosh. And... Yeah, and here's this advertisement right here for all these Spongebob DVDs right here. And that is actually pretty much all for Spongebob and the Princess. I actually really super love this adorable book right here. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> my favorite part was probably when, <laughs> when Spongebob, um, dresses up as the Princess just so people wouldn't be disappointed about Princess Neptune not really coming, but then she comes and she really, really loves the way Spongebob treats her. I mean, just look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. I love the way she's pinching his little cheek. Um. <laughs> yep, so it's actually pretty much all for Spongebob and the princess. So goodbye, everybody. Have a great day and peace out.